We will begin with a very simple idea from elementary number theory. It's called arithmetic of remainders. Let's conduct an experiment. Let's fix a divisor, suppose 9, and fix two numbers. So use a different color. Fix two numbers, 56 and let's say 84. There is no particular reason why I chose these two numbers. Um, I could have chosen any other number as well. Now, if I divide 56 by 9, the remainder would be, the remainder is 2. And if I divide 84 by 9, the remainder is 3. What would happen if I divide 56 times 84 by 9? That is, what if I multiply these two numbers? 56 and 84. 56 times 84. So let's do that. Let's multiply 56 and 84. The product is 56 times 84. This is 4074. And what if we divide this product? So this this product is four seven zero four. And if we divide this product by nine, if I divide this product by nine, I'll get six. The remainder is definitely six. So if I divide 40, 56 times 84 by 9, that's the divisor is same, the remainder is 6. And turns out that this remainder is the product of these two initial remainders. And that's actually the curious part. What's happening here? I mean, as if, if I multiply the numbers, the remainders are also getting multiplied. I mean, is it a coincidence or is it actually always the case? So, to find that out, let's conduct another experiment. So, let's change the divisor now. Let's say the divisor is 11. And let's get two test numbers. So, let's take, let's say 70 be one of the numbers which when divided by 11 gives remainder 4 so the remainder is 4 uh, let's take 101 when, when, which when divided by 11 gives remainder 2 now what is the product of 70 and 101 so 7070 and it's when it's divided by 11 let's see if I divide this by 11 what is the remainder the remainder is 8 so the remainder is 8 which as you can already observe is actually the product of 4 and 2. So something very curious is happening here. If I multiply two numbers, apparently the remainders are also getting multiplied. This happened twice. Once in this case and when the divisor was 9 and second experiment we also got the same result when the divisor is 11 and if this is actually a rule if this if this always works then all our calculations will get very very much simplified because you see when I wanted to find out the remainder of 56 times 84 
I had to first multiply 56 and 84 and then divide this product by 9 to get the final remainder. But if I knew this particular rule that remainders would also get multiplied, I, will, I would have simply multiplied 2 and 3 to get the final remainder. It's, it's, a, it's a convenient rule, it's a convenient formula if this is true at all. Of course, we have only worked with two examples and we don't know yet if this will work all the time. Let's take one third example. This time our divisor, let's use a different color, our divisor is suppose 6. Now let's take two numbers, 33 which gives re remainder 3 and 45 which also gives remainder 3. Now this time before we compute let's try to figure out what is the remainder when 33 times 45 is divided by 6. So our guess would be our guess could be 3 times 3, 9. But you immediately see the problem with this guess, right? If I, if I, if, if I guess, if I guess the remainder is 9, the remainder to be 9, immediately there is a problem. Now what is the problem? Well, the problem is this, if you divide something by 6, the remainder cannot be greater than 6. But in this case, our guess would be 3 times 3, 9, which is obviously greater than 6. So definitely 9 is not the remainder. The remainder cannot be greater than the divisor itself. So what could be my remainder? Well, I would go one more step and divide this product of remainders by 6. Divide this product of remainders. Divide this product of remainders by 6. So in that case my answer would be 3. So what did I do? Well I multiplied the two remainders in this case 3 times 3 and I divided this product of remainders by 6 again to get 3 as my remainder. So now my re revised guess is that 3 is the final remainder of the product of 33 and 45. Now let's see if that's true. 33 times 45 and let's divide this by 6 is the final remainder is indeed 3 and that actually matches our prediction. We predicted it to be 3. So basically we we now see the picture getting a little bit more clearer. I mean we get a rule of arithmetic of remainders. So multiply the remainders. If the product of the remainders is smaller than the divisor then that product is the remainder of the product of the numbers and what if what if the product is greater than the divisor well in that case divide this product of remainders by the divisor one more time and we get the final remainder. But friends this is not, this is a guess, this, we do not know that this, this always happens. We do not know for sure that this will always happen with all divisors and all numbers. We have just tested, we have just created an experiment with three different 
pairs of numbers with three different devices. That doesn't mean that we know this to be true for all numbers.